Good day, folks. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing okay during these reopening times, and I hope everyone has been safe and everybody's getting along okay. I got another little quick video I want to show everyone. I got some uh, pieces of some sculptures I want to show you. That piece you're looking at right there, that is a rare sink of cypress cypress needed we uh pull up out of the uh tick fall swamp i entitled that piece ghost the way the little small cypress knee sticks up right there man it kind of reminded me of casper the friendly ghost you can see just a few more little items i got through here that's a hand carved cedar bowl that i elected to put that one on the wall and basically this video is about sculptures, but I want to show y'all, y'all can see we got some signs here. That's the type of signs we're going to be doing, but those were unfortunately made on new wood, preferably for people who chose to paint distress. That could be up to their discretion. We just left them like that, but Next week, uh, late next week, we're going to have some that's made primarily out of the old fence, the cedar fence boards with the nail holes, with the cracks and whatnot. So let's move on to this. Y'all check it out, folks. That is a centerpiece bowl that I carved out of a cypress branch oh that's a big limb that we found encapsulated in the north shore of, of uh, lake marpaul and it's sitting on top of a little table that i built and the table has got 90 year old wood that i joined together to make the top and it's got a little cool little metal frame to it so let's move on A lot of folks have seen this. This is a natural sculpture. North Shore of Lake Marpaul. She was found seven feet of water total. Took us two and a half hours to get her up. And it reveals a lot of religious symbolic stuff on it, folks. I'm going to turn it around. It might be a little shaky and stuff. I want y'all to just see the other side. Just bear with me for a minute while I turn it around. Because I want y'all to see God's work. And just how she come out of the water. As is. Just like that. Okay. We're going to move on, folks. Another sculpture I've done. This particular piece here I'm about to show you now, it came off of a root system of, uh, come off a root system, a tick fall, a tick fall swamp. That's a cool little standing centerpiece. Berta. Let's move on. In doing so, y'all can see I got some nice thick lean to pieces that a person could lean up in their home in a corner somewhere and they have some cool pieces very nice and if someone that made purchases over the last this week from my shop i want to thank you for your purchases uh a lot of the pieces been moving here lately and i really thank everyone who come out to support us and who buy the pieces because a lot of time and effort go into these pieces and I just like to, I just thank everybody, man. I really do. Now, these pieces right here, folks. We gonna, I'm gonna come down where y'all could see this piece right here. I entitled this piece Bunny. B-U-N-N-Y, Bunny. That piece was found encapsulated in about five feet of water under about two and a half foot of mud in North Shore of Lake Marpaul. You can see all the holes in it. It's a very, very old piece of cypress. 
and we're gonna slide over to the right. As y'all can see, it's two pieces come from basically the same waters, but about three miles apart. Same type scenario. Only in Lake Marpaul do we find this particular type of cypress with the holes in it like that. Uh, I would assume that it's because of the influx sometime of salt water and that may have caused it with the algae, but it's a nice, beautiful piece. It's a tall sculpture piece. And I'm gonna move on since I'm right in this area. That bowl right there, folks, that is Spalding Pecan. It's a very solid, a very dense bowl. All hand carved. Everything done here at Bayou's Best Restoration and Antiques is all hand carved. Quality, not imported. All USA, all Louisiana, all local. Folks, I just did a little quick one. You know, I'm trying to get used to all of this, but y'all come check me out. Come check out the pieces. And I'm going to the swamps Wednesday. Folks, please stay tuned because I'm coming back with some nice, nice, nice cypress. And it promised to be totally different, totally nice. Thank y'all. Be safe.